Kolipe is home to some amazing dive sites and is known for its vibrant marine life and beautiful coral reefs, which is why Kolipe is considered one of the best diving destinations in Thailand. In this video, we are going to dive at a few famous dive sites, including 8 Mile Rock, and we share what you need to know about diving in Kolipe. Good morning from Koh in Thailand. A small island, middle of the ocean. This island is great for diving, so we came here for that. And the life of diving means carrying a lot of gear all the time. This is our hotel. And now we are going to the dive center and take a boat. Look at me. Another way to carry your stuff is just hire a husband and he carry all of your gear of diving twice or three times we will see how it goes but for now I think we are doing two dives because then after two dives we go back to Kolipe and we, since we are here only for three days we want to also explore the island and tomorrow we are doing another dive but let's see there is no current the sea is literally flat so I'm safe here Almost there, and that islander is where we are going to dive. Sang is one of the most popular dive sites around Kolipe and is suitable for open water and advanced divers. The maximum depth reaches 30 meters. In the shallower area, you will mostly see hard corals, but the deeper area is rich in both hard and soft corals. Visibility at Koh Sarang is generally good, ranging from 10 to 30 meters, depending on the weather conditions and currents. This is a great place to dive if you want to see a variety of marine life. We are going very slow because we have to be on the surface for one hour and initially we were supposed to dive somewhere else but the current there is very strong so we changed the plan and Kofu should be another beautiful dive site around Koh Lipe. Uh, we are looking forward to it and now we just like about relaxing and drinking a lot of water because during my dive I felt like my throat was so dry and I felt dehydrated. We are actually going to dive there and Bruno doesn't feel very good. He has a headache. 
so I don't know if he's going to join me or not. I hope he does. I don't like to dive alone. Okay. Are you coming with me? I think so. I feel a bit dehydrated, but I should be fine. Kopung is another beautiful dive site around Kolipe. It is known for its strong currents which become more powerful during the full moon and black moon periods. I don't know if we should consider ourselves lucky or not, but we are here on a full moon. But I feel happy because a few playful clownfish came to us and made our dive more enjoyable. This dive site is heaven for those who enjoy drift diving. But if you are not an experienced scuba diver, you might find it challenging. We decided to actually skip the third dive today. Uh, my headache was a little bit persistent and Mansure couldn't equalize on the second dive. And since tomorrow is a deeper dive, we decided to just rest for the afternoon to make sure that we can dive tomorrow without issues. At the beginning of the second dive, I don't know exactly what happened. I couldn't equalize and the pain in my right ear was killing me at five meters. But, and the current was so strong. I couldn't think about anything else and there were other people on the water they were not comfortable with diving and the current pushing them I wanted to focus on my equalizing but so many things was ha happening it took me a while to equalize and go down but still I have pain and I just would drop eardrop and hopefully I can dive tomorrow let's see Good morning, we are walking to the boat and we are going for a dive today. As you know, yesterday I couldn't really equalize and I had pain in my ear. Last night I tried everything, so hopefully I feel better. Right now, I feel like I can't hear from my right ear, but apart from that, I am fine. And you never know till you get into the water. I really want to do this dive because this is our last chance to do a dive here in Kolipe. So let's keep our fingers crossed this morning I feel much better as well so for sure I think I won't have any issues going to diving but yeah I hope I'm not gonna be alone Thailand is a special place for us because we have started our diving journey here in Thailand not exactly in Kualipe but in Phuket we learned diving in Thailand but when we started diving at the beginning, we were so concentrating on doing everything right instead of seeing things. So now we are more experienced and comfortable underwater. So we want to see exactly what is underwater in Thailand. <laughs> Today we are going to one of the most famous dive sites in Kolipe, 8 Mile Rock, which is named for its distance from Kolipe. It is located just 8 miles south of Kolipe. The current at 8 Mile Rock is very strong and the visibility in the shallow area is limited. This is why we descend by using a rope as a reference. The rock itself starts at roughly 15 meters and the deepest part is over 50 meters. There is much to see here. You can see barracudas, groupers, lionfish and scorpionfish. Leopard sharks are frequently spotted around the rock, but we weren't lucky enough to see one. But if you're lucky, you might also see whale sharks here, which will certainly be the highlight of any dive. Due 
to the strong currents we needed to hang on to the rope during our safety stop. On the surface is very choppy. Are you diving with Ami? Apparently, yes, I have to. Yes. You don't feel so good? Yes. Okay. I'll join you later. Sit in back. <laughs> Enjoy your dive. I feel a bit better, but to be honest, like, I don't think I should do the second dive so I'm not going for an event alone I I kind of like I couldn't equalize I did it but it was very painful and then during the dive I was fine and when we were about to come up I got a stunk with the jellyfish probably and around my lips and in my face I don't know what happened exactly suddenly I had a huge headache really bad headache, terrible, one and with nausea. And it took me a while to feel a bit better. I took a pill, but it's still my ear is blocked, so I feel a bit down. So my body is not really okay. And we've been traveling for so long and not sleeping well, and the heat and everything. So I decided not to go for the second dive. It's unbelievable to see the water so calm here but when you go down uh, in the depths you face current a strong current and actually when we went down we had to take the rope and to go down because of the strong current it took me a while to go down because of my ear but finally I could equalize I went down I think we went to 25 meters to 30 meters and there were a lot of things happening down there. We saw barracuda, a school of barracuda. We saw so many fish. It was amazing, the dive was amazing. And now I can see some bubbles, apparently they're coming. Bruno was the first group went down, so maybe he's the one coming up. Let's see. Yeah. How was it? Yeah, it was actually good because if you go down smoothly, he didn't then you look have more at the time. Murray eel just now. Oh my god! <laughs> I had a Murray eel literally. <laughs> what? Like I, I, I didn't see the Murray eel. It's like it's uh, under me, looking at me like I'm gonna eat you. So.